Exciting update for all the Yamaha enthusiasts out there. I've got some fresh news that might come as a disappointment to the die-hard Yamaha lovers like ourselves. It seems that by the end of this year, we will unfortunately have to bid farewell to the iconic R1 and R1M models. However, I couldn't help but share this quick update with you all. Change is in the air, but let's keep our spirits high and stay tuned for what Yamaha has in store for us next. The arrival of the day we never thought would come has brought about a need for a reality check, as Yamaha has made the surprising announcement that the iconic YZF-R1 and YZF-R1M will not be updated to comply with the Euro Plus emission standard. This latest development has sparked discussions and raised concerns about the future availability of these legendary leader-class superbikes. Yamaha UK released an official statement which said, Yamaha Motor Group have taken the decision not to develop an EU5 Plus version of the R1 or R1M, instead focusing on other mid-term business and product strategies that will provide future opportunities. Manufacturers possibly shifting focus from premium, low-volume bikes to higher-volume markets. R1 and R1M still offer significant value for money, especially for road riding. Speculation about Yamaha introducing an R9 or R10 model to align with shifting market trends. So I gave a local Yamaha dealership a call. 600cc class bikes for the street, it's been a dead market forever. I mean, it's, uh, Suzuki still makes them, uh, Kawasaki still makes them, but we sell maybe two or three a year. People have moved away from that style of bike, really. Um, naked bikes are really popular, adventure bikes are really popular. Well, insurance, I mean, an R6 is an awesome track bike. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to ride one for more than 30 minutes. It's one of the most uncomfortable, painful bikes to ride, right? It's an incredible performer, but it's not a nice bike, right, to ride on the street. That's why they don't sell well. Um, R7, it's a slower bike, but it's a vastly better street bike. Comfortable, well, comfortable age, more, more comfortable than the R6, but it's uh, more usable power, right? That's the problem with those insurances high, high maintenance costs, high operating costs. People just got sick of them, so they moved over to the naked bikes. They're cheaper to insure, they're more comfortable. Adventure bikes are all the thing now. Everybody wants adventure bikes, so but they might come back like in a few years. But I mean, that, that, that market after like 2010, there wasn't really much improvement, right? They, they hit a peak how much better could they actually get and then that was it. it died out after a while so is r7 a really good alternative to r6 yeah i love the r7 it is such a fun bike to ride um it, like i said it's zero to 100 it's faster than the r6 and the r6 just pulls away from it like it's not even there but that's not the point like it, that's great on a racetrack but on the street it's not right so as a street bike the r7 i, I would take an r7 over r6 any day one of the greatest engines i've ever ridden that thing is just so flexible it has perfect amount of power it's got leader bike torque with um 600 cc flexibility and, and reps well the r9 is coming i mean they haven't officially announced it but they've done a horrible job of hiding it a new yamaha r9 sports bike seems likely as the team manager at yamaha 10k racing in the world super sport champs has publicly stated they expect it to replace the r6 within the next year or so the R9 would fill a gap in Yamaha's sports bike lineup between the R7 and R1, offering a more powerful option compared to the R6. It's expected to feature an inline triple engine, similar to other Yamaha models like the MT-09 and Tracer 9, providing a broader power delivery and better fuel efficiency. Adaptations from the MT-09 platform would be needed to make the R9 suitable for sports bike use, including changes to geometry and ergonomics. The R9 is anticipated to incorporate modern tech features found in the MT-09, such as ride modes, traction control, and a customizable quick shifter. Styling cues from existing Yamaha sports bikes and concept renders give an idea of how the R9 might look. Compared to competitors like the Ducati Supersport 950, the R9 would offer a different riding experience with its inline triple engine and likely a more competitive price point. 
While demand for a Yamaha R9 exists, the market for 900cc sports bikes is relatively small, which may influence Yamaha's decision-making despite no official confirmation or pricing, anticipation for the R9 remains high among enthusiasts.